Hello people, welcome back to the channel. I want to believe you are doing good. I am doing okay. It's been really hard for me. Um, I've been depressed, anxious, scared, and it's all thanks to the craziness going on in Ukraine. For a minute, I was doing better until I had a relapse days ago after seeing the terrible things on the media. If you know, you know about the whole butcher um, thing. It's crazy, like seeing people killed that way. It's traumatizing, like I can't. I've been so invested in the news that it's unhealthy. Now I'm trying to like get myself away, but I've done so much damage to myself that I can't stop watching the news. Like I'm so invested and it's worrying me. It's worrisome for me um, because I live in Europe and I feel anyone living in Europe should be concerned as of yesterday, I was hearing that um, there is heavy um, there's a heavy presence of military in most of the NATO states borders um, especially those that are close to Ukraine also the the same thing applies to the Mediterranean Sea like they are just waiting for any wrong move and they are ready to start and if they start people we are looking at World War 3 it's crazy we have children here we have families here we have like we've, some, some people have built so much for themselves here and yeah it's just going to be thrown or flushed down the drain because of war yeah that's where we are right now as a matter of fact weeks ago we were praying for ukraine and i'm thinking of even starting another program where we'll be praying for ukraine because it's been a mess yes now to lighten my mood today i'll be um doing a video that is recommended by someone in the comment section in one of my videos specifically the videos where i was talking about things i learned in my 30s i would like to give a shout out to ca and i would be reading his or her comments because i can put a sex on this person now the the message um the comment that was left um, says hi Gloria you should consider a get to know me tag for your next video which of the ethnic groups are you from in Nigeria interesting topics in your conversation whoa you look so beautiful and you don't even look 30 you look like you are still in your 20s take care um thank you ca i really appreciate your compliment i actually shared it with my husband and i was like calm down girl you're not that fine i was like okay i'm gonna sit down <laughs> thank you this was something that really helped um yeah um now i'm just gonna honor this request by doing a get to know me um tag i have searched on the internet i'm trying to drop something yeah i have searched on the internet for um faqs um, and i found one now i'm going to go on to my phone yep i'm looking down because i'm trying to grab the resources um to get the questions where are we excuse me people so yeah i have 101 interesting get to know me tag questions i will try to answer all of those questions in this video yeah so wish me luck what is your full name my full name is bethel gloria oluchi what is your middle name oluchi what is the meaning of your name bethel means a place of divine encounter gloria means praise to god and oluchi means the work of god who gave you your names my father gave me my english and Igbo names my mother my yoruba name after what or whom were you named i don't know what is your nickname hmm 
Some people call me petty, some people call me glow glow, some people call me Adeze Bolt Better, some people call me Mrs. Grassy. For different people, I have different nicknames. Where are you from? I am from Isekenesi, Imo State. Where, when and where were you born? I was born on the 1st of February, 92, and I was born in Lagos, Nigeria. Okay. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Lagos, Nigeria, specifically Oshodi, Shogunle Oshodi. Yeah. Who were your childhood idols? My childhood idols. Okay, I remember. Uh, yeah. Um, her name is Kema Chikwe. She was the federal minister of aviation um, in Obasanjo. Olusegun Obasanjo regime. I first came across this person on a calendar that my mom brought home. This calendar was by FAN. FAN is the Federal Airport um, Authority of Nigeria. And her picture was like in one of the pages and I took that away and kept it because I felt she was so beautiful. And the most fascinating thing about this person was that she was occupying a very prominent position in the government in the ministry at that time and i felt like oh my god you can be beautiful and be something else other than on the runway or being be a decoration in your house or cook or do house chairs or all those things you can be more so i i really loved um that woman the picture that was used there was very 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 fine and i felt yes this woman should be on the runway but yeah she was doing great things and yeah I like that I looked up to her. What are your hobbies? My hobbies um, changes from time to time depending on the time you catch me. Uh, yeah. Now it's spring and my hobby right now is gardening. How many pairs of shoes do you have? Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know. Except I count. Fun fact, I don't wear heels. I stopped wearing heels five years ago after um, some major operations that were done on my um, spinal cord. And one of the things I had to let go of were heels. Um, what did you want to be when you were a kid? I was a confused kid. I wanted to be different things at different times. There were times I wanted to be doctor. There was a time I wanted to be an accountant. There were times I wanted to be um, um, a computer analyst. I was confused. Um, which is your favorite class in school? That's... That's... Um, I don't have one because my favorite class in school is greatly dependent on who the teacher is and how I'm feeling the teacher. Now, because my school tends to change their teachers from time to time, like you be in class feeling this teacher, what he's doing, how he's teaching and it's entering. The next minute they, he's being yanked from the front of the class and replaced by um, another teacher. So. It was hard for me to like it, it, it was just too much um up and down for me and i don't operate in such environment so it was hard for me to pinpoint something i liked who was your favorite teacher in school her name is mrs rose she is a Ghanaian. she taught me in primary three and she made me love school where did you go to school my primary and secondary school were in crystal ball schools and my university was in national open university of nigeria okay what do you like about yourself <laughs> i like the fact that i am stronger that i than i think i am when push comes to shove i don't know this strength just comes from within and i'm always on top of it i'm always on top of the situation with the help of god
what are your parents occupation my father is a contractor i've always known him to be a contractor now my mommy is a trader they always do business anything business you find them doing it just to put food on the table which of your parents do you resemble sweethearts that is a debate because i look like the both of them but most often i get that i look like my mother they're like oh my god you look so much like your mother i'm like how do i look like my mom my mom looks like an angel i look like the slippers of an angel what are you talking about my mom is so pretty she's so different for me but people say we look alike okay but if you see me and my father like oh my god you look like your dad i don't know um when was the last time you cried i cried two days ago um i woke up um and i was just crying to my husband and i was complaining about some things i've noticed about myself and i just feel i'm helpless and i can't do anything about it i want to do more blah 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 i was just pointing out my, my, my heart to this man and guess what he laughed at me he was laughing at me and he was consoling me and i was like do I look like a clown or did I say something funny I'm actually being very serious and was laughing at me and like saying it's okay it's okay but was laughing because he finds he found what I was like venting about funny I don't know what is your favorite color my favorite colors are yellow brick brown and green what is your favorite song I don't have any but for now I am rocking Messi Chivo what which is your all-time favorite song all-time favorite song all-time favorite song i like to move it move it i like to move it i don't even know the lyrics but anytime it's on you see me moving my waist like the um animations in madagascar <laughs> oh my god is is that cartoon called madagascar i think it's madagascar i guess um which is your favorite movie i think my favorite movie of all time is three idiots it's an indian movie amazing i've seen i've i watched it a long time ago i still um i recently recommended it to my husband he didn't feel it the way I, I felt it but i love that movie um which is your favorite book my favorite book should be told this year i have read nothing except my bible I I've not picked up a book and do justice to it this year. Last year, I read a lot. Previous years, I, I read a lot because I, re I normally write book reviews. So I had to read. Um, last year, one that stood out to me is uh, My Sister is a Serial Killer by Onyo Cobb Breathwith. Um, she is a British Nigerian writer. And yeah, I loved that book. I loved that book. It was so, it was dark. But I liked it. <laughs> um, I ended up buying uh, copies for my Italian family because I just want. I felt like the book gave deep insight into what it is living in Nigeria, and I wanted them to feel the same thing and like understand what where I am coming from. And it worked. It worked. They loved. They loved the book as much as I did. Even if they didn't understand a lot of things, they had to come. What's the meaning of this? What's the meaning of that? And I had to explain. Yeah, this is one thing I love doing. Like introducing my family to my culture as much as i can which is your favorite ice cream flavor my favorite ice cream flavor is pistachio however it gets me really thirsty um that's the downside but there's this one i really like it's with alcohol it's called zabayone zabayone is a cream on its own but this ice cream is made with flavor of zabayone when my husband makes it he makes it like the cream then he kind of does the thing what he needed to do and tons of ice cream and so yummy <laughs> who is your favorite actor i don't have one we are number 29 now do you have siblings yes um what did your grandparents do for a living my grandfather from my mother's side was a teacher his wife was also a teacher uh, my grandfather from my father's side was a hunter farmer as well as his wife farmer i guess and she she, she, she sold some things in the market where do your grandparents live my grandmother um lives in Ikoto from my mother's side she lives in Ikoto Lagos my grandfather from my mother's side is dead my grandfather from my father's side is dead and my grandmother from my father's side lives in the most states where which is your favorite perfume my favorite perfume my favorite perfume my favorite perfume interesting uh, my favorite perfume is 
Coco Mademoiselle Chanel and Chanel number no. five. Chanel number no. five I use only um, at evenings, at night, and the other I use when I'm going to very important places. Do you have children? No, I don't. What are the names of or what would you name your children? This is very personal. I know the answers to this, but no, you're not going to get this too. Um, what is your favorite sport? I don't have a favorite sport. Do you play any sport? No. Do you have pets? Yes. Um, oh, I missed one. Which is your favorite animal? I don't have a favorite animal. I try as much as I can not to attach myself to any animal. So I can tell you for a fact that this is my favorite animal. Um, yeah. Which is your favorite vacation spot? That would be Konya Val d'Aosta. There's this thing between I and that place. There's just this connection. Which is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is it's not where you can easily uh, find it's actually on the mountain um close to pontito it's a neighboring village to pontito pontito is like 600 km above um sea level um it's on the mountain it's in pesha and yeah i think the restaurant is in somewhere called casavecchia if i'm not wrong um it's i just love the food it's so natural it's so serene there and everything you eat there is fresh who are your favorite influencers? Uh, my favorite influencers right now, I love Lydia Stanley and I love Dima Ume. Lydia, Dima Ume, mainly because I've been following her since 2013. So I just feel like it's a sin to unfollow her or not like her. I must like her. Um, how, did you how did you perform in school, average? Did you enjoy school sometimes? Um, did you have a school do you have a school memory of course i have many school memories school for me was an escape and i there were a lot of memories that were created uh, um, in school what is your education i am um a dropout i dropped out from the university 400 levels and got married i related to italy the plan was to um go back to nigeria after a year and finish up with school then come back but when i got into italy three months later i was diagnosed with something called port disease which is tuberculosis of the bones now that took me another five years of my life to totally eradicate and claim my life back yeah it was really hard five good years story for another day <sighs> what do you do apart from being an influencer i do not consider myself to be an influencer i do this for fun uh, what do i do i am a full housewife <laughs> Don't get it twisted i am one of the most busiest people you ever meet and because i manage a lot of things and recently it's as if every year they add more things to my plate you have to undo house family business aside that i design i do graphic design i design websites i read and review books i design book covers and this is how i get most more money by this side and it's been fun yes the money i get from there those cannot like change my life buy me clothes uh buy me a car but it's it's fun for me because i've lived a life where i always walk it's impossible for me to be in a house and have someone take care of me i always i'm always on my computer doing something probably designing and eventually selling them yeah um what are some of your favorite tv shows i like the real i like the real i watch the real from youtube yes it's not the full show but i, I like the real which is your favorite shopping destination my favorite shopping destination i like pinali because i shop for perfume a lot i like douglas for makeup i like juvia's place i like about you i like um sheen um look fantastic where else do i shop aliexpress amazon yep. do you have a favorite store yes pinali 
what do you prefer pc or mac um actually we have a no mac policy in my house it's a policy that all our friends live by also and some of our friends not all of them some of us and yeah it's something we just work with we don't do mac we don't do androids um we don't do mac we don't do um iphones we do pcs and androids um, which phone do you use? I use um, an LG model. I don't know because I don't really pay mind to that. Um, what is your favorite clothing brand? I do not have any. As long as it's quality, I am good. How many languages do you speak? I speak English, Pidgin English. Yes, Pidgin English is a language. I speak Yoruba. I speak Italian. I'm saying I'm spe I speak. Oh my God, I'm speaking so fast. I'm saying I speak um, Italian because I'm learning. I'm pushing to do more with my Italian. I've lost um, a lot of time not studying because I have to fight for my life now. I have time. I can just integrate studying with my day-to-day -day activities and it's moving on good. So um, in no time, I'll be able to effectively communicate in Italian. So yeah, I'm counting that. Now in Igbo, I understand Igbo, but I don't speak Igbo. So I'll say four languages what is your first language english that's the language i um understood first i spoke first i like that's the first for me have you ever been out of your country yes which mode of travel do you prefer i prefer trains i did a lot of train ride last year it was fantastic um i don't like traveling by road i do a lot of traveling by road but we're back in Nigeria, I got traumatized because of robbers and um, an accident I was involved in. So it was messed up and it's just messed with me psychologically. So in Lagos, in, in Nigeria, I didn't like traveling by road. Now, I don't like traveling by air neither. I take sleeping drugs, knock myself out and wake up when the plane is landing. Yeah, that's how I survive. For trains, I'm cool. I feel like a sense of security, excuse my phone, um, when I'm traveling by train. If you could choose to be one character, who would you be? I don't know. What is your best physical features? I'm the whole package, like I'm the whole best physical features. I love everything about me. Um, what is your best trait? I think I am kind and I am firm when the time arises. What is the most important thing in life for you, God? Who is your favorite celebrity? I don't have any. What inspires you, my Bible? Who is the most crucial person in your life? Crucial person in my life, my husband. Um, is there someone you cannot live without? No. What is the first thing you notice about people? Their face. Um, what is your eye color brown are you often sarcastic it depends what type of movies do you watch um, I like comedies I like crime stories you find me watching supernatural stories what is your idea of a perfect date a perfect date for me is conversation you should be able to hold a conversation you should be able to provide topics we should talk about yes you get that responsibility um, and hold that conversation. I am ready to drink water and talk for the whole day. And this can guarantee you um, a second date. <laughs> um, where are we? What? Number 71, how is this possible? Oh, did I miss something? Ah, actually, I didn't miss anything. Eh? Wow. Okay, number 72. Where is the furthest you've ever been from home? When I was living in Nigeria, the furthest I've been from home is um, live, coming to Italy. Um, now I'm home. And yeah, the furthest I've been from home is home. Um, which is your favorite childhood memory? Um, my 
my first birthday actually this is my favorite childhood memory and it's my worst childhood memory so i'm just gonna stick to it my favorite making the part that made it my favorite um my birthday there was this birthday celebration so the first first day celebration that i can remember that i i i, I was aware of and yeah i woke up that morning and my mom surprised me with gifts Thelma, she's amazing i love Thelma. She, she surprised me with gifts she she bought me my favorite biscuit. I always like, I love shortbreads and I'm still obsessed about shortbreads. Anywhere we find shortbreads, we are buying it. My family, anywhere they find shortbreads, even if I'm not there, they are buying it for me. It's not easy, it's easy to come by here. We find it in special, in some um, stores. And yeah, if they find it, they're definitely buying it. It's just I'm trying to watch my weight now or trying to control what I eat. So i don't eat as much as i used to eat but she bought me those she bought some juice and it was really fine it was really beautiful how many girlfriends boyfriends have you had well i did it a lot um yeah i'm not ashamed of it do you have a bad habit my dear i have plenty of bad habits plenty one is um, i can't sleep without my back being scratched yeah i'm one of those people my husband has to scratch my back till i sleep yeah just have to touch my back till i sleep i don't know what it is it's just even when i was before i got married i paid my siblings like they made those children they made money out of me i paid them to scratch my back that's how sick this obsession with scratching back is for me um yeah what is the favorite what is your favorite thing to do when you have free time i kind of plan my days um the favorite thing to do when i plan my days people and yeah if i'm free i just do one of those things i've planned to do for the day um are you a dog or cat person i'm a dog and that cat person are you a good cook um yeah my family says so what is one dish you can make best quite a number um what are your favorite tv shows when you were a child i liked pinky and the brain i liked tell it hobbies i like color pop girls if i'm not mistaken that i liked um top cat yeah what do you like about your life right now i like uh, my relationship with god i like where i and my husband are in our relationship do you avoid conflict or face it when i was a child i literally run from conflicts right now i face it i just ask if i sense something i don't just keep it to me i ask the person um why do i feel this way what is going on why do i feel like you are being rude to me why do i feel like you are hiding something from me why do i feel like you're trying to ghost me i always ask those questions and nine times out of um ten it always starts up a conversation and most of the times we just tackle the elephants in the room and we move on with our lives what was your first job? My first job was selling chin chin in the class. <sighs> My class with the sweetheart. There was this particular guy that I would never forget forget. He would always buy chin chin from me. And unfortunately, I will always bond it chin chin. But there's a lot of sugar, like there's too much sugar inside that chin chin. So the guy came to me one time and said, if you burn your chin chin tomorrow, I will not buy from you. <laughs> okay um what is the strangest thing you've ever seen one day i was going to the office i was seated by in a bus by the window and i turned i saw a dead man by the road i think he was knocked by a car the night before and in the morning he was by the road messed up Gosh. another messed up thing i've seen is an idol um Imagine a giant mango tree. Yeah, I'm not joking. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. This idol was as big from the ground up as a mango tree. 
I've never seen something like this before. My God, they would have used me for money ritual. <sighs> wow. There was palm oil everywhere, bottle of um, gin shinap everywhere. You know how they do their spiritual thing? I saw that. I saw that people. Story for another day. Who has left a strong impression on you? My that would be my friend um catching my Kwali. Um she's late now. May I so rest in perfect peace. Who is the first person you call whenever something happens in your life? Um it used to be Catherine. Now it's my husband. If you could change one bad habit, weakness of yours, what would that be? Um procrastination. Are you a bathroom singer? No. Do you get angry quickly? No, I get irritated quickly. Do you prefer hanging out with friends or a small group? A small group is good for me. Do you have any allergies? Yes, I do. I am allergic to um, pollen. Um, Italian pollen. Eh? Um, I'm also allergic to I don't know what this is called in English in English it's called in Italian mezza de contrasto um, there was a time I went to do an MRI my god I have done a lot of MRI in my life within the past five years I've done up to 30 MRIs um, the first one I ever did um, no not the first one the second one um, they injected something in me and yep yeah, I closed I could not breathe like my 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 um, lungs were closing up and the only thing I could do was just give signs they got an antidote they injected me and yeah my life crazy do you have a garden mm -hmm. do you have a tattoo yes I do um, do you have a best friend my husband what are the most embarrassing what are your most embarrassing moments hmm. a lot i've had a lot of embarrassing moments i don't know the one to pick from <laughs> oh my goodness who is your celebrity crush i don't have one i can't think of anyone right now what is your sign i'm a course how do you like to spend your birthdays i enjoy unwrapping gifts on my birthdays um do you prefer people who are blonde or people who choose their word carefully oh i didn't even tell you this is the last question like i don't know i'm able to rush this like be very specific with my answers and move on yeah 101 Mm. Do you prefer people who are blonde or people who choose their words carefully? People who are blunt. People who choose their words carefully. Now, it's, this question is kind of confusing. If I say I don't like people who are blunt, I am an hypocrite because I am blunt myself. Now, people who choose their words carefully. I mean, being blunt is not synonymous to be not choosing your words um, carefully. To, to be blunt um, means for you to be frank to me. Um, you know what? Let's find out what blunt means together. Okay, blunt means uncompromisingly forthright okay it's simple and short you are unshakably straightforward now synonyms of this word is um, straightforward and you have frank as i mentioned now um, this brings me to something that really gets me irritated and angry people hiding being rude selfish mean wicked under the canopy of being blunt have you ever been in a situation when somebody says some very awful things to you and at the end of the day or the end of the phrase they say i'm just being blunt 
no idiot you're not being you're just being stupid mean and selfish my god like it's so it, it's triggering for me i hate it because i've had a lot of messed up people do this to me when i was younger and yeah i i just hated it when people just say you are blunt you are being blunt does not mean you are rude being blunt means saying it at, as it is if this thing is white a blunt person will just tell you it is white while a rude person will tell you it is white you idiot that is rude okay um i prefer to be blunt i prefer people to be blunt with me i think it takes out the headache in the conversation we just go straight to the point and move on with our lives so i like when people are blunt with me um yeah without being rude and um, insensitive that's it for this video people <laughs> oh goodness i was able to do one oh one thank you for watching people i really appreciate the channel is going pretty quickly um yeah i'm excited for where we are right now i mean i'm not actually the haste to get to any threshold like i'm just enjoying this it's i'm enjoying it truly i'm enjoying this so give this video a like comment share subscribe if you want and i'll catch you in my next video ciao people ciao